Okay, look, and then, oh, look, but, 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 then it gets crazier, right? It gets crazy. She like, she can't sleep. Izzy won't go to sleep. And da 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 Boom, boom, blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. And so I'm like, damn, like, where's Izzy at right now? Like, look how dirty. Let me clean the glasses so, so y'all can really get into the vibe. I'm like, what? Like, you know, where's Izzy at? Like, where, where is she? She's like, she's outside talking to Corey in America, mate. And I just can't. Like, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm hungry. I don't like peanut butter and jelly. Like, I just can't do this. Like, just, I don't know if I'm cut off for this. So I'm talking Boy Jane off the ledge. I'm like, Boy Jane, like, calm down. You're just having one of those days. Like, you just got to relax. So the tea behind the lights is that they, they only turn the lights off when there is a um like a quorum in the room there are four beds in the room so there needs to be at least typically they want it to be like three but we we negotiated this season to get it down to if there are two people in the room then they had turned the lights off because the the three was not working for us like the three was not working for us and so right uh, Mr. B would turn it off when Mama Fee requested. Hello? No, you just said something. So that's 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 the thing about the lights. Um, and so she's crying about the lights because Izzy is like outside talking. She's not coming in here. In order for them to turn the lights off, it needs to be a quorum. So because they were in the scramble or that because they were in the um, have not room and there were three people in the room, it needed to be two of them in the room for them to actually turn the lights off. And she wanted, she wanted, um, uh, not Mayor, she wanted uh, Izzy to to come in there and go to sleep and so she's having this little moment right she's having this little moment and i'm like you gotta calm down you gotta relax like it's cool and then she's like she's like if you know i just can't sleep i just been thinking about this whole alliance and i just don't feel like i just don't feel like i'm like i think i need to switch sides like i think time it's time for me to switch sides like i need to play with the other side like this side we just don't and i'm like and i'm like no like no like no like there is a healthy level of anxiety that we all need to maintain bowie jane like you're fine like nothing's happening she's just like nobody talks game to me and no da, 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 da. like she was having this whole meltdown moment in the bathroom and i'm just like and it shocked the shit out of me because y'all know I'm not emotionally stable like that. Like I'm, I, my emotions are like little to none. So I didn't really know how to respond. I was just like, oh, okay. Well, it did. So did. she was mad about Izzy not going to bed. And then she was mad about the alliance. And this is when now I get the, now I know. Like, I'm like, now, okay, bye bye bitches. If we ever like try to blindside her, it's gonna be a problem. So that's when like weeks, this is like weeks later at this point, or was this weeks later? Probably like two weeks later or a week later. Maybe it's like a week later. Hell, the weeks are starting to mesh together. Maybe it's like a week later and the red and jag thing comes up. And I'm like, no, I think we should tell Boy Jane about the that, 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 that. And like, no, we can't tell Boy Jane. Like, she's going to, you know, she might be too emotional about it. She may not understand it. I was like, y'all, I don't think that's, I don't think that's a good idea. This is what I'm saying. I'm like, y'all, I don't think that's a good idea because if we don't tell her, like she no longer buys into the bye-bye bitches. I'm like, regardless of what we have going on with the professors and um, what was the other alliance? Legends, Legend 25. Like, regardless of what we have going on outside of that, like us five women sticking together in this game, actually like being the first women's alliance in the history of this game to like go far together and make it to the end of this game together if nothing else, we are a strong as hell voting block. Like us five, like this five right here can literally dictate the outcome of this game in the weeks moving forward. Hey, Cam, if we stick together, like if we don't do this thing. So like, no, I think that we need to like tell her about this thing. They're like, no, we can't tell her. If we tell her, then she's going to be emotional about it. She's going to do this and da, 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 da. And I'm like, Y'all, I don't think this is a good idea, but okay. And lo and behold, and I, I'm literally lying these points out. I'm like, listen, Cam, thank you for the. Psh, 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 psh. 
I'm literally laying these points out. I'm like, listen, what happens is, is if we blind, and even Cameron, right? Because Cameron is even like left out of this vote at the time. I'm like, us blindsiding Cameron and Izzy or Cameron and um, Bowie Jane on this vote, Cam is no longer bought into the professors, the Legend 25 alliance. And him coming, um, him coming to be a part of this alliance was already like, you know, shaky at best. He didn't trust us really. We didn't really trust him. It was like a whole thing, right? But regardless of that, what I'm saying to my alliance at the time is like, if we blindside them, them as in Boy Jane and Cam on this vote, Boy Jane no longer buys into the Bye Bye Bitches and the Bye Bye Bitches could literally run this game. The five of us as a voting block? Nasty. Like, that would be... The kids will be sick about that. Like, that would be nasty work. Nasty as in a good way, right? Like, if we were able to do that. I'm like, and then, also not for nothing, we have Heisem gone. We need Cam to still take out targets on this other side. Should we do this? We don't have any of that anymore. The Alliance is like, no, I don't think it's a good idea. Da, 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 yada, yada, yada. And so I'm like, all right, okay, okay. I tried to be the reasonable, rational one, guys. None of my ideas were ever truly considered. Uh, and so that happened. And I remember specifically saying, I was like, listen, I'm like, listen, my concern is it's not even that they no longer like one. It is a concern that, you know, Bowie Jane no longer buys into the bye bye bitches. Cam no longer buys into um, the Legend 25 professors, whatever alliance. I said, but even even outside of that, my biggest concern is that blindsiding them on this vote sends them to the other side of the house. We know for a fact that Kim was originally lying, aligned with the other side of the house. Riley is gone now, right? But Jag is still here. Blue is still here. Matt is still here. Corey America are still here. I'm like, Bowie J wasn't a part of that original alliance, but it's no reason that in the event that we blindside her, she does not go to this other side and go to this alliance. I said, I, I've said these things out of my mouth. I said all of this. I said all of this, right? I, I remember specifically having having this conversation, um, having this conversation with Izzy and, and Mama Fee. I'm like, listen, I just don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't do it. They were like, no, it gotta be red, da, da 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 da. And then the morning of the red and jag vote is when I wake up and I try to flip the vote to get jag out instead of red i wake up i try to flip the vote to get jag out instead of red i remember waking up early that morning this was the only thursday that i washed and blow dry my hair in the morning because i typically do it on wednesdays i didn't do it that night before um and i wake up probably like at six o'clock in the morning that morning to start doing my hair mama fee is always one of the first people to wake up in the morning <clears throat> Excuse me, Mama Fee is probably uh, is one of the first people to wake up in the morning. Her and Miss Sari and Red were like the and, and Boy Jane were like the three or four, um, um, three or four that were like always up super early. Some of the first people to be up, and so I remember sitting in the bathroom and Mama Fee ends up. I was in there first, and Mama Fee ends up walking in there, getting ready to go for her shower. And I said, um, and I remember saying to her, I said, you know what? I said, I couldn't barely sleep last night and I woke up this morning and something on my spirit was telling me that it has to be Jag to go today. And she was like, you think so? I'm like, something is, I'm like, something is telling me that if it's not him, like it, we gonna be in trouble. And she was like, you, I was like, I'm telling you it's on my spirit. I have not felt strongly about anything in this game. Then I do, I remember saying, I said, if you, I don't know if they showed it on the live feeds. They asked me about it in the DR, so I don't know if it was if this conversation that me and Mama Fee were having is on the live feeds. Um, um, but they they asked me about it in the DR, so I'm assuming that it may have been. Um, but oh yeah, y'all saw it. So yeah, I, I was having this um, this conversation with Mama Fee and I'm like I'm telling you it's on my spirit like I think it has to be Jag like you know I know everybody is concerned about the the possibility of a uh uh um the chillers what is were they chillers chillbillies I can't remember what the name of their lines were um but I know everybody's concerned about um uh Red and Cam getting back together but I'm like I'm more concerned about a five-person alliance than I am about a two-person alliance like that I feel is manageable a five-person al alliance they're just too, we give too many people opportunities to be in power that don't benefit us, right? Like that was, that was my, that was my concern. And this is what I'm saying. And so, you know, Mama Fee does her Mama Fee thing. She gets up 
and goes into the comic room forgetting that boy mind you boy jane doesn't know that the plan is to vote red out at this moment right so <laughs> i did i wanted i didn't want to keep high some yeah i was one of the people that wanted to keep high some uh, boy uh boy jane doesn't know that red is supposed to be getting vote out this moment so mama fee runs into the comic room and i don't know exactly what happened because i was still in the bathroom but i just know she ran into the comic room and next thing i know boy jane mr re and izzy were in the bathroom so she ran into the comic room, I guess, forgetting that Boy Jane slipped in there and saying that they needed to come into the bathroom or whatever. I don't know exactly what happened during that exchange of her going into the bathroom and them coming in or her going into the comic room and them coming into the bathroom because I wasn't in the comic room. Um, but all I know is Mystery, Izzy and Boy Jane end up coming into the bathroom. So now we're trying to like talk about it without talking about it because it's Boy Jane doesn't know that the original plan was to get read out. And so we're kind of like trying to talk around what it is that, yes, she said we need to flip the vote. This is somebody told, I saw a clip of her going in there and said we need to flip the vote. Like, hey, y'all, we need to flip the vote going into the room or, or whatever it was, girl. And so boy Jane is in there and we're trying to like talk, talk, talk. And mind you, Red is also awake. At the, like Red is awake at this time. It's literally like six or seven o'clock in the morning. Like the lights in the house like the actual lights that they keep on all the time are not even on yet. Like they are still off. Like some lights in the house are on, but like when all of us are asleep, um, not all of the lights are on. Like they turn some of them down or turn some of them off. Um, it's kind of like a Christmas tree. Like there are enough lights on for you to be able to see your path, but not like all of the lights are on, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so uh, we are in the bathroom, like talking around this conversation of why we should keep, uh uh red instead of jag and whatever and so leaving that conversation i i'm thinking that we are all on the same page about this right like i'm think I, I make some good points um i make some good points about why i think they why i think jag should go instead of red and i think we're on the same page about that me not knowing that mystery and izzy are planning to uh vote to keep what what was the plan? What was the plan, y'all? I can't remember exactly what the plan... Like, the, I guess the plan was to... Somehow, Red was still going to be evicted. And they were going to vote to keep Jad or something like that. And then bl blame the votes on... I can't remember what it was. Like, whatever the... It was, like, some plan. Like, they had, like, some type of plan um, about, like, saying that our votes were, they, were their votes or something like that. Um... Or yeah, some the votes were gonna be blamed on somebody. I can't really remember what happened because in my and I didn't see any of this until after the fact, like after I'm out of the house. In my mind, when they leave the conversation, they're on board with this, and so I'm thinking that everybody was on board. Um, and I remember going into the storage room and having a conversation with Jared because Jared was HOH at that time. Um, and I was like, listen, I think it has to be Jag. Like, I think that like, this is going to pose problems for us at the end. And you I guys know what honestly it was for me. It wasn't even that I saw them in the bathroom together having that moment. What I did see was, um, what I did see was it wasn't about the bathroom. It wasn't about them being in the bathroom together. And now I want him to evicted because they were in the bathroom together. No, what really happened was that I can't remember whose HOH it was, but after the power was played, we were sitting in the HOH room. It was me, Mama Fee and um, Matt. And we were talking about who should be nominated. And I can't remember whose HOH it, it, it was that week, but I remember us all sitting in the, in the, in the HOH talking about who should be nominated. And Jack's name came up. And when Jack's name came up, Matt said something to the effect of, oh, no, I don't think we should do Jag because he owes me. Like, he didn't say that. He didn't say the words like he owes me, but he like alluded. To, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said something to that effect. Like, no, we can't do Jag because like he owes me for like a better words is what he said. Like he said, like he owes me. And I remember sitting there being like. And this is like probably a couple days after the power is set or maybe the next HOH after the power is saved. I can't remember exactly how it happened, but the next HOH after the power is saved. And I remember being like, hmm, 
that's interesting. And at nighttime, when me and Mama Fee uh, would like, we would sit in the scramble room and, you know, I would be jumping from bed to bed. We trying to have like these little sneaky conversations that people don't know about, which I'm sure people knew we were talking, but we try to have these little sneaky conversations. I remember sitting in the bed next to her and I remember being like, you know, Matt said something earlier that, that piqued my interest. Um, hi, Magnolia. He said that he didn't want Jag to go up because Jag owed, like, I can't, he, he didn't say he owed him. He said something. I don't remember what he said, but like he owed him. And I was like, that's interesting me, to me because I feel like he has a vested interest in Jag to protect Jag. And I said, the only reason why he would have that is if he used the power to save him. And Mama Fee was like, you think he used the power? And I was like, let's be realistic. If Blue won, Blue didn't Blue would have kept the power to save on herself at some point. Like, there's no way she... I said, the only person in this house who could possibly feel comfortable enough to think that they would not be a replacement nominee in any... Because you don't... We didn't... Like, we knew there's a power to save someone, but you don't know what happens after that, right? Like, if you save someone... If someone... You save someone, does somebody else go up? Like, we don't know all of that. We just know that you save someone and then... Hell pandora's box right like we didn't know you save somebody and nothing else happens we didn't know all of that right we just know you have a power you can save somebody from eviction and then there is no follow-up as in like oh and then there's a place the nominee they didn't say all that they just said power somebody gets saved and going about their business so as he says that i remember saying to my fee, i said that makes me feel like he has a vested interest in jag and the only best interest that he can have in him is him using this power to save him she's like you think it was him i said it's not blue i said because if blue had it there's no way that she uses the power to save anybody but herself right if if, if, if she's as smart as i think she is there's no way she does that because i wouldn't right i wouldn't do that and at this time i don't know that blue has siblings or what what have you um i i just i don't know i just i didn't know that she you know i'm like she oh she ain't seem like the type to share to me at that point so <laughs> i'm like i don't see her doing that i'm like the only person who i think could feel comfortable enough and feel like they would not be in danger of being a replacement nominee is matt because at that point nobody was saying matt's name Ever. And so it makes up for Heism. Um and I'm and so I'm like, I I think it's me and and that is really what kind of got me in the oh, it may need to be. And not only that, um the the clips that y'all saw of them hiding my steak or not my steak them trying to get my leftovers this is before the steak this is a se separate set of leftovers them tr me hiding my leftovers from them and us being in the storage room and them being like under that cover together and like playing and he, he, he that was very reminiscent of boogie and dr will to me and that that is what had me not sleeping that night it wasn't even the what matt said in the hoh was just like a okay that's weird you for whatever reason got a vested interest in this man why is that but it was them under that cover being all like best friends to the end i said oh bitch uh-uh no no I, I listen i'm an only child i'd have had plenty of imaginary friends me and my imaginary friends be all up under the goddamn blankets just like that and my imaginary friends is my best goddamn friends I said, oh, yeah, this is giving Boogie and Dr. Will 2.0, bitch. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a fucking problem. And it was. It was. It was, um, it was, um, Jag and Matt who were under, they were, like, under the cover in the bed. Um, they were, like, under the cover, like, trying to hide from me in plain sight. Like, it's a whole thing. They were just trying to hide my, um, uh, my leftovers that day and trying to hide from me, like, in this but that is what I said. Oh, no, bitch, this is going to be a problem. When I saw them doing the little under the cover trying to get the leftovers, I said, oh, no. So that so that next morning and and you all willy nilly play playing you on the block. I said, oh, no, bitch, when I was on the block, I was my heart was in my ass. I was stressed out. I said, oh, no, this is some bullshit. So, yeah, that's when I woke up the next morning. I said, Mama Fee, it's on my spirit. And, you know, nobody li nobody listened to me, guys. That's what happened. Nobody listened to me. So, yeah. Okay, period. Send me packing. Send me packing. Who said that? Send me packing. 
Hit the road, Jack. That's all I heard. That's all I... Y'all talking about Corey when I left, wild hug, this person, wild... Girl, I didn't hear shit when I left out the house, but hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. All like That's what they had playing on the intercoms. Y'all ain't hear it, but that's what they that's what they had playing. That was what was on the intercoms. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. That was what was on the intercoms. Nobody in the house could hear anything that I was saying. They didn't even hear any of the shit that I was talking because they had that shit playing on the intercom. Hit the road, bitch. Thank you for your service. You're no longer needed here. Get the fuck out. I was like, damn, damn, damn. No, I'm being funny. They don't play songs when you leave, guys. This is sarcasm. That this is sarcasm. This that's 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 me being funny. Um, who's H O H got me out? I went out on Cam's H O H. Um, Jag wanted to play against older people. Um, hi Delaney. Everyone was out to get Cam so bad, but ignore Jag. Now you just said something. Now you just said something. If they played it, if they were to request, you know what's so funny what they should do? If they were to like have a request, like, oh, when you leave, like we'll we'll play a little song, even though they're not gonna do that. Like when you leave, we should we'll play a little song. Like, what song would you want to play? I'm playing Ski by Sexy Red. Because why not? Let's bring some culture to the Big Brother house. If you see me, you trying to say what's up, Ski. Um, uh, yeah, all of you said Jag, but only Cam tried. Mm. Listen, listen, listen. But technically, technically, the votes took place and Jag was, Jag was saved. But technically, we, like, we did do the thing, but... Um, Jack's villain era at the end was funny. Jack definitely got into his villain era, got into his bag. Definitely got into his villain era and got into his bag at the end of the game, for sure. Everybody got into that villain era at the end of the game. Honestly, you played a game that, like, for that long, I can only imagine. By day, like, what day? By day 90 or day 100, girl, I probably would have been cursing people out. Not gonna lie. I probably would have been so, like, over it. Um... Do you think the comps needed to be more equal on your seats? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I would have been. I would have been cursing people out by the day time we got to day eighty or ninety. I would have been like, okay, what? Be, don't ask me who I'm. Don't ask me shit. Like, <laughs> don't. Um, but yeah. So I, I, I saw the problem before it happened, and what really, I think, what really made me like have the first little peak of interest was when he won Cockadoodle Zoom. He has in Jack. Y'all, when I tell you he finished, I don't, obviously in the edit of the episode, like, you know, you can't tell how fast somebody wins or not or what. When I say I no bullshitting y'all, the, the, the sludge on cockadoodle zoom, like the little sticky stuff, it's cornstarch, like raw. If you were to take a bottle of cornstarch, like a big buckets of cornstarch and literally, oop, literally just pour them into a contraption. It was legit corn. I'm talking about when I say sticky, sticky as hell. If y'all would have saw how quickly this man finished that cockadoodle zoom competition, cockadoodle zoom was the veto that they had. It was the one that Jag and them went to where he had to wear the chicken suit, but the cockadoodle zoom, the actual competition was like in it was like the feathers and the the eggs. Um, and then they go into like the sticky sludge and they go under the thing and then they got to go get the egg and get the feathers and come back or what have you. I guess the one that Mama Fee was rolling around on that one. Girl, when I came out, that was one of the first clips that I watched. And when I tell you, I laughed so hard. I said, girl, seeing it in real time was one thing. Seeing it in the edit, bitch, I died laughing. I was like, Mama Fee is a whole character but yes no anyways the that said all that to say that sludge was hard like not hard as in like texture hard but like it was hard to navigate through girl if y'all would have seen how quickly jack finished that competition bitch it was literally like five minutes by the time he had all his eggs in the only other person who was like halfway close was red red was like not too far behind jack in terms of numbers of eggs that he had but everybody else smoked like, I'm talking about two eggs. And how many? I think they had to get eight or something like that. 
everybody on two eggs. This man is on eight. And I think Red had like five. Five or I'm talking about he finished that competition so quick. I said, oh, bitch, this is going to be a problem. This, I, all of y'all want to know what I was doing? I was sitting around looking at everybody like, oh, bitch, this is going to be a problem. That's what the fuck <laughs> oh, that's what I was doing. That is what I was doing. That is what I was doing. Like, so crazy. Wish they wouldn't have canceled Kirsten's elimination week. You know what's funny? This will be the last thing I say, and then I'll get off of here because my man is probably like, well, what are you doing? Um, I'll come back tomorrow, tomorrow though. But when the Kirsten elimination happened, I literally strongly believed that they were gonna cancel it because it was very similar to what happened. Um, <laughs> so yes, for you knowing the problem and never solving it, crying. Um, uh, I thought they were going to cancel it because the same thing happened last season with Paloma, right? And um, no, not it wasn't Kyle with Paloma. And so when Luke was um, evicted, this or expelled, evicted, I don't know what the correct term for it is. But when Luke was um, expelled, evicted, what have you, the first week, I literally thought I was like, oh, they're going to cancel this eviction because this is the same thing that happened last season. Right. Because uh, was it was it Kirsten and Terrence that were on the block that week? And I was just like, oh, this is going to they're going to. And I remember like it's crazy because I were hi, Magnolia. I remember saying that to Kirsten. I was like, honestly, like cause she was like she was going through. She was having her moments um, where it was kind of I think that she was. I, disappointed is probably a good word to use obviously we all are but I think that she was like a little disappointed that week I think she thought it was going, going to go differently than what it was and when it didn't she was um she was just disappointed and so it was kind of hard for her to like assimilate herself back into the group once she had been nominated and so I remember talking to her after conversation I was like honestly I think that you know it's you sh you should put yourself in a position where you know, you force yourself to put your feelings to the side because I don't re I really don't think you're going to be evicted. Like, I think that it's a strong possibility. I think the possibility of you staying in the house is stronger than the possibility of you leaving and in the event that you stay. Like, you don't want your actions from this week to make you a target for the next week in the event that you stay. Right. So I think that, you know, you should you should like recalibrate. A little bit like how you were how you're feeling about this week and how you're like interacting with everybody um but yeah yep yeah, i remember having that conversation with her and she was like you think so and i was like honestly i i really did think so guys like i was like they are gonna cancel this and when they didn't cancel it i was like oh so, so like when we got to thursday i swear to god i thought we were gonna do the whole thing like literally the same thing that happened last season we all get dressed up because they didn't say anything about it before beforehand like oh it's gonna be canceled so i thought the same thing gonna happen last season like last season taylor and terrence really thought one of them were going home like they got dressed up they had packed all their bags and did all of the things so i was really like oh they're gonna let us go through the whole thing and the whole thing as in prepare all day you still have to pack your bags get dressed as if you're getting evicted or you know get dressed um as if you're on the block sit in the chair all of that and then julie's gonna come on the screen and say hey guys you know the eliminate or the eviction has been canceled you know whatever i legit thought that was gonna happen so when that didn't happen and they were like uh yeah we're going through with the vote i was like oh okay like crazy 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 um so taylor got saved by paloma self-eviction um i wouldn't necessarily say that she got saved but the eviction one her either her or terrence getting evicted was canceled like the eviction was canceled um because of um because of the the paloma thing so i just assumed that the same thing was gonna happen obviously there's no way for me to know for sure um but that's just what i assume happened and i believe strongly that that shit was gonna happen i remember telling her like girl you have to uh, like get your shit together in case you stay because you do not want to give them like in the event that, the point that i was trying to make to her was like in the event that you stay like you don't want to give them another reason to like target you next week like don't make yourself an easy target by doing the you know isolating yourself and not assimilating to the group and people feeling like oh well she she said fuck us so like don't don't put yourself in that position in the event that you stay and it's crazy they didn't cancel they just came up with the power and the zombie twist yeah that instead of cancel as opposed to canceling we got the um we got the the power and then the zombie the zombie 
in the zombie twist as opposed to keeping keeping somebody in. But yeah, um, that was crazy. Whole thing was crazy. Um, all this is nice. Um, last I said this last time, but this is the last thing I want to say. Um, my friend is going through a hard time. Could you give her an inspirational message? My inspirational message to you is to you or to your friend um, is to seek out the good in everything that you do. Um, life is no cakewalk. It's not supposed to be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect life. There's no such thing as a perfect person. So don't be too hard on yourself. Always give yourself grace. Um, try to spend some time reflecting on all of the amazing things that you've done and that you've accomplished in your life and use those things as encouragement, courage, leverage to do more awesome and amazing things. And you are a dictator of your energy. You are a dictator of your environments, a dictator of your surroundings. And energy is transferable. So how you show up in the world is how people will receive you and is um how you will receive other people so um yeah just keep that in mind i'm a strong i'm i'm really about energy uh and and not even and yes and as jenny said and you are worth it you are loved you are appreciated there are so many people in this world who love you and want you here and need you here so always lean into that um what i was going to say is that i am an energy person and not energy and like a crystal and doing all of that but what i mean by energy is is that i can tell based on my interaction with somebody like I can feel their energy like if it's negative energy or like some weird shit is happening I can feel that but if it's positive or if it's positive energy I can also feel that which is why I'm a strong proponent of showing up in the world the way that you want people to receive you and the way that you want to receive other people like if you want to prime example you come in my live and you talking shit you want me to talk shit back you but if you coming on here and you being positive then you want me to be positive and funny and crack a little joke and tell a little story and do a little laugh and do a little kiki but if you talk shit well then what you what you you can't put bad out and think that you're gonna get good back and that's just that's not about this this is about anything in in general and that's just kind of how i try to live my life guys um so yeah i'm not a motivational speaker or anything like that but you know i like to drop a little gem every now and again but yeah, keep that in mind. I know it's the holidays and everybody's going through, um, you know, going through something. Some of us may be going through things more than the others. And I know that sometimes the holidays can be hard, a hard time for people. But honestly, guys, I hope you just are spending this time to just recharge and recalibrate and relax and not stretch yourself out or do anything too crazy during these last couple of days of the end of the year you got all next year all the rest of your life to stress to be stressed out to be worried to be concerned to be anxious to be you got the rest of your life to do all of that child i'm a strong proponent and while i'm young while i'm healthy while i'm free while i'm energized while i'm all of these things i am going to try my hardest to curate and create the best and most uh joyous life for myself possible and that's what I wake up to do every day like literally that's I wake up every day intentionally what can I do to make a better life for myself and I think that's the mindset we all need to like be in all the time um tomorrow when you come on can we not talk about bb absolutely we cannot talk about bb tomorrow when i come on the last time we were on here we were talking about me being in college and the last time i was in a physical altercation with somebody if y'all miss that conversation and i'm talking about physical altercation like fist fight like if y'all miss that y'all missed out y'all missed out because y'all see y'all see the hands Y'all see, y'all see the, y'all see the hands, okay? Do y'all see the, do y'all see the hands? Do y'all see the, <laughs> do y'all see the hands? Watch how fast they go. I'm talking about the last time I was in a physical altercation. I'm talking about knotting her up. I'm talking about a big knot. Y'all missed it. We know you won, Star. You did? Yes. All of that. 
don't play with me because don't run up on me talking crazy. I don't know about y'all, but I'm born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri, baby. Don't come running up on me threatening me. Don't come running up on me threatening me, friend. I love you. I'm peace. I'm nonviolent. I'm nonviolent, but you can get your ass flipped on top of your head if you come over here playing, friend. Don't come fucking with me. No, I'm just <laughs> Y'all picture me flipping somebody on top of their fucking head. Like, just pick up look, like this. Sh sh flipping a bitch on top of her head. Like, how gangster would that be? If y'all ever see me flipping somebody on top of their head, just send me a million dollars. Because what? This, 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 yeah. this, this is why I could never be somebody who does combat sports, MMA, boxing, any of that. Because I want to see you outside of the ring. I don't care if you want all 12 rounds. Yes, you be my ass inside of the ring. Come out of the ring. I want to take it to the streets. I want to get down on the pavement. Because why would you be my ass like that in that ring? Why would you have me in a chokehold like that as an MMA fighter? Why would you have your legs wrapped around my neck like that? Why would you do that? We got to take it. Girl, we got to take it to the streets. I'm not. I am unwell. I, my brain does not function like normal people that go into these combat sports. Bitch, you knock me out in the ring. I'm meeting you outside. I'm going to be at your mama house. Tell her, come on out. Yeah, that's not me, me. Um, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I love you guys. You are always a good time. Thank you for the laughs. And... I'll be back on here tomorrow. So same time, same place. Love you guys. And then I never know how to turn the damn thing off. I'm why I'm acting like Mama Fee. And wait, how do I turn this off? Okay, here we go. I'm why I'm acting like Mama.